And our special correspondent, Jeremy Morrison, has just arrived in Karibu. Jeremy, there have been some amazing developments there. Yes, Sean. As of 6 o'clock last night, the guns fell silent here in Karibu. And the man responsible for bringing this decade-long war to a halt managed it without leaving Birmingham. It was Aston Villa star left-back Gerald Alumu, whose dramatic and heartfelt plea after last weekend's Villa victory over Tottenham Hotspur completely changed the political landscape here. My country is hurt. It has a damaged metatarsal. I want it to be match fit again. Please, stop the fighting. That is only the second time that the intervention of a premiership player has stopped an African civil war. And already there are signs of a brighter future for this war-torn country. Jeremy, thanks. Thanks, Rory. <sighs> thanks, Jane. You were brilliant. You're yeah, absolutely delighted to help. Now, I thought I'd nip downstairs and get you a room. Oh, splendid, dear heart. I simply must go and talk to Saskia. Saskia. So where's David heading? Just over there, where he thinks we can't see him. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it, isn't it? I'm on the scrap heap. Not at all, David. It's just that you've done it for years now, probably since before I was born. So I'm being replaced? Not replaced, David. Rested. Chillax, man, for for sir. You're telling me I'm not in the Children in Need musical parody at all this year? David, they're doing Amy Winehouse and Pete Doherty. You don't really fit. And Fiona Bruce and Jeremy Vine Doof. First Morrison and now this. And why is that man even here, Alex? Mood of the meeting, David, is that the audiences like you best when you're delivering bad news. They like me when? You know, floods, earthquakes, epidemics, that sort of thing. You should see the research. Approval graphs spike like Kilimanjaro. According to the focus groups, if the world was to end tomorrow, you'd be one of the four newsmen of the apocalypse. <laughs> Who does this research? See, Jeremy, though, Jeremy's great at good news. Jeremy knows nothing about Africa. He's the Brussels correspondent. He's very popular. <laughs> Especially since all that tabloid hoopla in Iraq. The Daily Mirror called him the Thwar correspondent. The high-ups can't ignore that kind of stuff. Oh, I think they can. 